Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best order block strategy that you can use in 2023. With this strategy, essentially you're beating most SMC and ICT traders. And the most beautiful thing about this is it's extremely, extremely simplified. I've also given you all my criteria and checklist for an order block for free. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now, if you're interested, make sure to go ahead right now into the description and join my free Telegram channel where I'll be sending a lot of these setups completely for free now let's get into it guys so one of the first things and i expect most of you to already know what an order block is if you don't know then make sure to go ahead right now in my channel and look for a few of my order block videos and i'll explain it but essentially what an order block is it is the last up or down candle it's an institutionally sponsored candle this is where institutions essentially essentially um opened up their orders um, in order to you know slowly iceberg themselves into the market in order to actually be able to get into the market now what price does is it needs to come back to these areas when it comes back to these areas this is when the institution okay when this is when they're able to close out essentially their big orders mitigate their orders or break even or you know a little bit of a loss etc so in order for them to get into one side of the market they actually have to go in on the other side first and clear out also a lot of the stops um to the left in order for them to get filled in to their positions so that's a quick quick brief explanation of what an order block is but as i said if you don't know what it is definitely go ahead and look um into it a little bit deeper because we're not going to go too much into the theory of that today now when it comes to the checklist of an order block these are the four main things that i like to take a look at okay so the number one rule and this is always number one and a lot of this is in line with, uh, in, in like essentially in order of importance the number one rule is that the institutional candle clears liquidity so the institutional candle can be the fu candle as well the difference between institutional candle and fu candle is the institutional candle is the one we enter on it's the last up or down candle before you know the impulsive move in the opposite direction and the fu candle is any candle that clears liquidity now the FU candle and institutional candle can be bought at the same time. So you need to see clearance of liquidity. If you don't see clearance of liquidity and liquidity still lies above the institutional candle, a lot of the time price will still come back, clear the high, invalidating your institutional candle or order block. So you need to see a clear of liquidity. And a lot of time this is actually going to signify that price is ready to move in your desired direction. Next, you want to see that your institutional candle is in line with structure. Now, just because there is something that looks like an institutional candle or order block or supply and demand zone, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work out. Structure is king. You need to make sure that you're following structure. So a lot of the time what I'll do is I'll do my higher time frame analysis, look at the daily time frame, the four hour time frame, make sure that my structure is intact and we're you know we're slowly um rising higher creating higher highs and um lower highs higher highs etc in order for me to look for bullish setups in that way i'm essentially cancelling out 50 percent of the order blocks that i see because i'm only looking for those bullish um order blocks and not those bearish ones next you want to see an impulsive move in the opposite direction after the order block gets created and the fu can gets created like if we see a clearance in liquidity for example we have lows right here and we see a clearance in liquidity you need to see that there's some sort of desire to continue higher so a lot of the time you'll see this in the um uh, a lot of time you'll see this in the form of a market structure shift right here where price breaks the most recent um high right here that formed the lowest low so this is what you need to see a lot of the time and an impulsive move you want to see that after this manipulation phase and i call this this part here that just goes down below these lows the manipulation phase the liquidity purge you want to see that there's actual true buying intent and true strength um uh, here on the side of the buyers in order to take price higher so this is what you want to see and lastly you want to see that price the institutional candle order block is lying within a discount or premium zone so in order for you to see if the institutional candle or order block is lying within a premium or discounted zone you essentially use your um, fib tool and a lot of time all you have to do is drag it from the low to the high and you just follow its structure and whip the, with the fib tool it's very very simple as a new high gets formed as a low gets formed and a new high gets formed this is where you drag it from the low to the high in order to see um, where your order blocks lie so for example in this range right here we got multiple order blocks we'd have one here we'd also have one here etc 
here. So what you want to see is you want to make sure that your order blocks are aligned within the 786 and 886 zone. There's going to be more interest at these levels in order to be buying discounted. Like think of it this way. If buyers wanted to buy something, would they buy it expensive or would they wait until price is cheaper? So there's always going to be more interest, more demand right here in these zones in comparison to something, you know, above the 50% above the equilibrium. So next, okay, so let, let's take a look at this um in in practice so here's um a simple example on gold on the two hour time frame and essentially when you want to take a look at order blocks what i usually prefer is to take a look at order blocks on the higher time frame the higher the time frame usually the stronger that the order block is going to hold now there is a way that i'm going to show you in a minute where i use um, a certain tool to validate these zones to see if this order block is going to work out or not because sometimes you have multiple order blocks within a range and it becomes very very difficult to choose which order block to use so by having a method to solve this you're already ahead of the curve by a mile okay so the order block that we're taking a look at right here is this one right here so let's check with the criteria does it clear liquidity yes it does clears all of the liquidity to the left right here all of these highs right here and also this high clears liquidity so then we have an impulsive move to the opposite direction as it forms and it tricks people into thinking that oh price is going to go higher go higher it clears that liquidity and then goes boom very very sharp impulsive move to the downside continuing the structure to the downside so we know that this institutional candle is also in line with our downward structure okay so this is where we would want to look for sales next we check to see if it's in a premium or discount okay so from this high to this lowest low this is and we would drag this right here and this is what it would look like in real time you want to check if this institutional candle is in premium or discount now premium preferably is usually anything between the 71 to 1 but anything above 0 0.5 is usually okay but the more high probable setups are 71 786 and 886 now it really depends on the pair because the pair characteristics can change and vary very very quickly depending on the market sometimes you'll get deep pullbacks um in a, in a pair it all depends on the trend and sometimes you get very very um, very very quick pullbacks so all depends on what the current pair is doing in the current time there's never going to be a one rule fits all strategy okay it's, it's never going to happen so then what i would do is i'd essentially simply just mark out that order block wait for price to tap into it and look for a short so trading view switched up their um, tools once again they continually love, love to do this and it's actually pretty annoying but this is the order block right here and uh, all i'd do is i'd wait for price to tap into it once it taps into it, away it goes. So when it comes to order blocks, what we want to do is we want to look at an entry from the open of the candle. And we'd also like to place the stop loss either right above the high or at the close of the candle. So I'm going to give you guys another example right now to make sure that we can drill this in a little bit better. In that same trend right here, we take a look at another setup. So on gold, on the four hour time frame, what do we have? We have this order block right here. And remember, it's only four confirmations that we look at. And these confirmations, you know, they're not really that interchangeable. It's something that you really necessarily need to see. So we take the rectangular tool. Boom. I mark out the close and the open. Now I ask myself, has it cleared liquidity to the left? Look at the three hour time frame. Sometimes you can, you know, go through the different time frames and check which order block um, looks best. Once again, it gets very, very difficult to choose. Is it on the four hour order block, the one hour, 15 minute order block? But the tool that i'm going to show you in a minute also will help you with that so don't worry now i'm personally like essentially you a lot of the time if i see an order block on multiple different time frames i'm going for the highest order block highest time frame order block unless we have some sort of inefficiency or imbalance within price okay so if we take a look right here we ask ourselves did price clear liquidity okay and as you can see right here to the left, it cleared these highs. So cleared liquidity to the left, also tapping in to another supply zone. And this supply zone pushing price impulsively in the opposite direction, clearing that low and forming a new low. So broke our structure here. This is our market structure. Um, th this is our, our break structure, sorry. And then we take a look and we drag this boom from the high to the low. They got formed. Now we want to see, are we in line with our um, uh, premium areas right here? And are we, is our order block essentially within the 71 to number one? 
and on a four hour time frame yes it is perfect okay so then what you want to ask yourself is are we in line with structure and clearly we are so far if we take a look at the higher time frame we're forming lower lows pulling back forming lower lows pulling back forming another lower low pulling back forming another lower low essentially now we expect another pullback and another lower low to be formed until guys we reach the discount of this previous range once we reach the discount of this previous range this is potentially where you can expect some sort of reversals now i can give you a very very powerful guide on um inter time frame analysis so if you guys are interested in that video make sure to comment down below and um i'll definitely prepare something for you guys now we take a look and all we do is simply wait for price to tap into the open of this um, order block and we would look for shorts as it takes all of our confirmations boom 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 taps in this is where you would take your short essentially all we would do is just simply tag it the lower right here and there you go so stop loss above the high take profit below the wick okay the low and boom trade was perfect now as i said there's going to a lot of time going to be difficulty in choosing <clears throat> Which order block do I trade from? So you might have this one right here. You might have this one right here, etc. So in order for me to fix that, or in order for me to have more confirmation and to be able to validate these zones, because the price action can only tell you so much, I use the tool called order flow. So I use the order flow footprints, guys. And a lot of you might have already seen this on my chart. In this video, I'm not going to explain what it is and how to use it in this case. I'm going to link a video down in the description below in order for you to see and teach you completely for free guys on how to actually use the order flow with what i just showed you right there when you couple both of these strategies together okay both of these concepts of analysis together you are going to be 100 percent ahead like at least ahead of 95 percent of people in this game okay honestly because a lot of people a lot of people they don't even know how to use the, the order flow footprints correctly and you know a lot of people they just use the order flow footprints correctly on its uh, um like correctly but on its own and it, it's just not that powerful the mix and what we're trying to do right here is mix both of these strategies together and once you mix both of these strategies together i'm telling you there's nothing else currently out there in the retail space that is even comparable so essentially what the order for footprint tool is it gives you executed contracts it shows you the, the strength essentially of the buyers and sellers on each side you can see here a lot of numbers but it's actually not that confusing because we don't analyze each and every single number everything that we need to take a look at is already marked out okay by certain patterns shapes colors etc so everything that we take a look at is already there for us to see essentially what we like to see a lot of time is let's pretend that the order block is right here and we just came in and we tapped into the open of the order block before me just taking the candle blindly and just you know executing that sell straight away i can validate this in order to increase my win rate and increase my high probability and confidence in the setup by seeing okay price here the delta is going up and up and the delta just showing me the strength of the buyers and sellers so i can see that the buyers are increasingly getting stronger as we step in boom we tap into the order block and now i see an insane amount of sellers stepping in so this can be an excellent excellent way in order to confirm firm your setups because at the end of the day it's all mostly about what the buyers and the sellers are doing and you want to begin in on the right side not just the right side but also the strong side you need to check to see okay there might be sellers coming in now but are the sellers strong enough in order for us to really have a full shift in structure etc all of these different questions can be answered with order flow not just that you're even able to see maybe we're not going to target that low maybe we're going to reverse pretty early so it, once again it will tell you as you're holding the trade you'll be able to see okay we're in a buy down here and as we continue as we continue up as we continue up now we're starting to see some selling um uh, some selling signs step in so boom i would get out of my setup even though it hasn't hit my take profit that might potentially be up here once again you're saving yourself a lot of i guess disappointment because a lot of time our trades do hit break even so this does solve it so once again guys if you want to learn more about order flow i'm going to link a video down below in the description make sure you go ahead and watch that now that's pretty much it guys this is the most basic order flow um sorry this is the most basic order block strategy that you can follow right now now um really quickly guys before i end this video we are currently helping people pass their funded challenge okay so as you can see we've helped lots and lots of people as it is already and we're doing a lot and a lot of different firms um so 
guys if you're interested make sure to join the telegram channel link is down below or you can also dm us now at trader pass official too once again there's a going to be a whole 100 money back guarantee so if we fail your challenge you get 100 of your money back and we we'll even buy you a brand new challenge um just for wasting your time so once again guys if you want to get funded fast in under 72 hours make sure to join the channel down below right now with that being said guys i appreciate every single one of you for watching all the way through to the end comment down below if you want to see that market structure guide and i'll catch you guys on the next video have a great day bye bye